Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you more Let's Play Enigmatica 6 Expert Mode. And what we're doing today is we're going to start, uh, we're going to start up Create. And we're going to upgrade our backpack to Iron. Uh, as you can see, I've gathered some honeycombs uh, in between the episodes. I wanted to make sure that this worked. Uh, I picked up one of them from over here and put him down closer to this nest. Picked up one from here and put him down closer to this, to this nest. So now we can shear. Uh, it's it's one bee per nest, and they're all making the uh, the coal honeycombs for right now since we need the byproduct of sulfur from this guy. So I've done this, and it gives you a pretty decent amount. I think two to three combs per shear uh, per round. So we got that going. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We have uh, a decent amount of sooty honeycombs. Also, the uh, grapes. I've been growing the grapes. So let's go ahead and put a fence in between these guys so that the grapes can grow as soon as uh, they're ready on this side. Let's see. Do we have another placeholder block? I guess we can use some of the organic compost we got from the base. Let's just do that so that we can put the fence in the place. Now when these two grow, it'll take that fence as well. It'll it'll spread and the grapes will grow in between. We'll do that real quick. We have so much organic compost, it's not even funny. So let's see, how are we going to do this? I guess we can vein mine this stuff. And let's put down a whole bunch of... Or like all of our Organic soil, of course. Or is it organic compost? It's compost. Just so that it could spread. There we go. That's a lot. And I, w I don't want it to be two levels high. I'm not sure how that would work. So let's just put them down here. There we go. And I believe like putting rich soil next to it will help it grow. So let's just put some, well, we'll outline it in rich soil. There we go. And let this guy grow. So like these are gonna change from organic compost to rich soil with time. Oh, also let me check. Are we chunk loaded in this corner? Doesn't look like it. So let's just go ahead and chunk load this one guy right here. All right. I am growing beetroot, uh, just in case we go to the village and uh, we can buy some emeralds. Uh, that way we'll have some emeralds going that we can then use to buy armor from the traveling salesperson. When they have good armor, of course. And let's finish this row of wheat. Let's do that. Too bad they don't take beetroot seeds or uh, wheat seeds. That'd be awesome. Let's go ahead and, and gather our wheat as well. I just now remembered that we have passed so many hay barrels. We should have been picking up every single hay barrel and saving them just to take them with us for trading wheat to villagers for, for emeralds, but... Hindsight is twenty twenty. I just now thought of that. Beetroot, wheat seeds, soy seeds. We got flowers like crazy, of course. Flowers. More of these seeds. Industrial hemp seeds. We got two cured rubber. All right. We used, uh, we didn't use all of the fences. Since we have shears, let's also make sure that we shear the uh, vines that have continued to grow. Let's break these apart. Vein mine these guys. Grab some more of our vines that are growing. We need these guys. And let's see. Get some of our, of our perfect tobiko going. One is good enough, right? All right, and let's see. I think we're smelting down the... Uh, the seaweed, yeah, we are. So let's replace this seaweed with this seaweed. And 
keep it cooking. Get that seaweed up. We can form these into blocks. Five. Nice. Alright, let's crush them. Get some seaweed paper. Some nori sheets. Alright, and let's see. Nori sheets. This is still set to perfect, so let's go ahead. Right click, make 64. Good thing they don't fly into the fire and get destroyed. Cool, we have 15. I think the thing that's holding us back is definitely nori sheets. Yeah. Cucumber, avocado, and tobiko. We're fine on. All right, let's go ahead and take our vines that we've been gathering. We can put them over here. We can make a couple more latex. It's kind of a pain doing it like this. I'm not sure. Let me try something else real quick. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Why is this corner so dark? Oh, because the vines spread over the window, maybe? Let's fix this. A little bit brighter over here in the corner. Alright, so... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're gonna okay. shift scroll wheel to bucket mode. Two, three, four, six. I don't want to go too fast, because I can... Go faster than the infinite water source. What do we got? 22 out of 32. Alright. We're full, and let's see. Let me change it to bucket mode off. Will this work? Oh, okay. It doesn't work. That's too bad. I was hoping I could spam this like this, but it doesn't. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Shift, click, click, click. All right, let's see. 24. Makes two. So that's another one. Yeah, it's 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 pretty expensive on vines. Let me try one other thing. Maybe if it's on bucket mode. <laughs> My whoopee cushion. Off on. Will it work if it's if it's a bucket? No, it won't work as a bucket either. go. Two. Whoops. Three. Twenty-seven. It's another three. That'll make another two. And that'll be six total. So we'll, that's good enough for right now. We got a basic fluid tank full of water now. Ah. Alright, let's drop off the tiny dry rubber as well. We can refill our emergency bucket of water. Cool, six. We need our string. And let's go ahead and make one, two, three, four, five of the protective fabric. We need electrum and we need rose gold. So we need silver and we need copper and gold. So let's see. We have gold nugget, we have copper, we have silver. And let's bring our gold with us. It is nighttime, so let's sleep. 
Oh yeah, you're right, Anira. The pneumatic craft uh, tank will probably work. But uh, what's funny is to get through to that pneumatic craft bucket will probably already be uh, making rubber with the arboreal extractor. So let's see, we need to double up. So we'll put in our copper. The copper will not, oh, we're out of fuel. The copper will not uh, alloy with the silver. So we'll put the silver in as well. Uh, let's go ahead and drop off this guy. I guess we don't need to drop it off. We can turn it to bucket mode on. And let's see, can we just right click? Yes, two, three, four. Turn bucket mode off. Nice. That works. So we'll let this melt down. The copper and the silver. Which is kind of going to be rough. Like the gold. is. What is the gold going to alloy with now? Is it going to alloy with the silver? Is it going to alloy with the copper? Is it going to alloy with both? So let's try at least nine pieces since we need a block of rose gold and let's see what happens. It's going to mix with, let's see if it mixes. I have a feeling it's going to mix with both at the same time. Yeah. With a little bit of both at the same time. And that was enough. We just needed, uh, let's see the electrum we need to turn into rods. Here we go. So two rods of electrum. One, two, and then we need one block of rose gold, which we have blood in here. Let's see, is this enough blood to make a... Nice. Is it still on? No, the switches are off. The rose gold, we'll cast this rose gold out. We have one congealed blood from all of the flies that have been destroying themselves inside. Oh, here's all of our gold and all of our copper. Gold, copper. There we go. So we need the rose gold and we need the two electrum. And then this guy, oh, no, well, we need our backpack. All right, so let's see. Can we iron backpack in the middle like this? Yep, gold backpack. Got it. Big time, big boost. All right, so we got a gold backpack. We have even more room in our backpack now for carrying stuff. That's pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and put our shears up. We can drop off the uh, ingots real quick. There we go. We don't need any of these maggots. And Nira is saying, I've never done anything with the organic compost and rich soil before. How do those work? You were excited to get those. I'm excited to get them because uh, once you turn them into rich soil farmland, not only do they not require a water block to stay hydrated, they also will make your crops grow faster on them. And uh, also, it cannot be broken when stuff uh, walks over them, when you jump on them, uh, when uh, maybe even crows. Crows might not even be able to steal from them. We'll see, though. We'll see. I like it mostly because it has uh, crops grow faster on rich soil and you don't need water blocks anymore. We got maggots. Too many of these guys. There's no real use for these maggots. Cured rubber. We'll put the sooty honeycombs in here for right now. Uh, and let's go ahead and see create. I want to go this direction for the tier one. For tier one uh, tech. We're going to do that. Uh, so let's make sure that we're also opening up create so that we get credit. we got goggles. we got some farmer's delight. They want a water wheel that we don't need. Windmill. We're going to try making a windmill today, of course. 
Uh, and I believe we'll go windmill. We need the mechanical mixer. It's a whole bunch of stuff. We need the deployer as well so that we can start uh, doing the sequenced assembly with create. So let's go ahead and make the crank since the crank is in the way. We need shaft, so we need andesite alloy. We'll grab the andesite alloy we have. We need planks. So let's grab the planks that we have. Let's just do these 12 wisteria. All right, and let's see, we can make shaft and we can make a hand crank. That'll open up the gate for us in uh, tech. We'll do that. They want uh, the press and they want the mechanical mixer, but also this is optional. I'm not gonna go with the blaze burner just yet but we can make the mechanical mixer and the basin. So we'll make the, the, the press. We need cogwheel, we need buttons. So let's make eight buttons real quick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Surround these guys, whoops. Like so, for the cogwheels. And then we need a block of iron, nine. Here's our block of iron and then press the metal press. What is it not called the metal press? Mechanical press. Got it. Mechanical press. Oh, andesite casing. So yeah, instead of making the andesite casing, let's go ahead and run back to that, uh, that one tower where I decided not to vein mine and take stuff with me. It should be super close. That's andesite. I think the tower is right about here. Let's see. Create on. There it is. So we'll head over there real quick uh, to vein mine some brass casings and some andesite casings. We got super lucky with that building. Super, super duper lucky. Uh, we are going to have more than enough. And if I steal, if I steal with glass bottles, will this be get angry? Maybe. Let's run away. Because I want to get some honey bottles going as well. That's the va vanilla mechanic for getting honey from vanilla. Let's see, we're just super close. We didn't need a, a waypoint or anything for this guy. Let's jump, jump, jump. And should I just straight up vein mine the outside or should I go inside and not, not break the building? Meh, boom. That is a lot of brass. Wow, two stacks of brass. And I guess I shouldn't be using the pickaxe because I'm using durability and it requires an axe. So let's just go ahead and vein mine with the honey bottle so we don't use our durability for no reason. Boop. Where did they fall? Did they fall or did they get destroyed? Curious. Did it destroy them? Let's see what happens with the brass here. Since it's a red mark on the axe. I think it's destroying it, actually. All right. I mean, there's more than enough. But we'll head down a little bit. Well, am I not going to be able to make... No, the stairs are still there. Yeah. All right. Let's see. It doesn't count as an axe. Yep. Why did they... I guess pickaxe is a check mark. Whatever. Dang. Two stacks. That is crazy. It veined mine two stacks out from under it. I think two stacks is going to be more than enough. That means we, with, with the uh, vein miner, we destroyed... Two stacks of brass and two stacks of andesite when we vein mined. 
But I think this is going to be enough. I don't think we're going to need more. If we do, I'll come back. We got sunset. It's still a little too early to sleep in our sleeping bag. We might even make it back to town or to our camp before. We got a crow. Let's see if we can make it back before uh, 27. No, we're not. 23, 24, 27. Let's not let any of the the dudes uh, spawn on us. Yep, you're right, Ren. It probably uh, allows both tools, but it only shows one tool in one probe. Yeah, and these guys are slowly, slowly turning into rich soil. Nice. And we are... We need some serious food going. We'll do that. And grab the saturation from the Tobiko. Boom. So now we have all of the creates. Let's go ahead and make the press. And let's see. Mixer. Go away. Quest. Mechanical mixer requires a whisk, requires five of these iron plates. Do we have? We'll do five. Put five iron in. We have blood. That's not iron. Same color. And we'll get rid of this and make it plate. Plate gas. All right, iron, five. Two, three, four, five, five plates. Let's switch this out with the ingot. All right, one electrum rose gold. Venom, copper, silver. So silver, copper, electrum, rose gold, and slime balls. Let's go ahead and cast these guys out. All right, so we're going to need to make the whisk. And then we have the mechanical mixer. And the basin, I believe, is like this. Do the basin. That should be the those couple of quests that are here. We're not going to go get the blades burner. Not yet. Oh man, it's not going to access brass until we get a blaze burner. Even though it says optional, it's not optional. Crushing wheels, mechanical mixers. So let's take a second to work on the create right here. So we're going to go with a windmill, windmill bearing. Radial chassis and white sails, 32 of them. We'll do that. So let's see, we need to run gravel through the induction smelter. Where's our gravel? We got gravel, induction smelter, get the sulfur out. We need to run the, the gravel through the induction smelter to get slag and then we need to run slag through any smelter to uh, turn it into rock wool mm, that's good i went ahead and i i indulged myself with one soda today soda that i used to get when i was younger called squirt in my Renfest mug with my my good luck charm that someone gave me at Renfest this past season. All right, so we're making the flint that we need, or not really need, but we can put it into the pulverizer, and we're making slag. So as soon as we get eight, we can go ahead and put this guy in the furnace right here. There's our dried seaweed. 
turn it into blocks before I forget about it. There we go. I'll put the blocks up for right now. So there's our raw, uh, our rock wool. We'll let that go. We have our windmill bearing. We need a sticky piston, which luckily we found all of the pistons inside that, uh, that gunship. Oh yeah, Nira, you think that's a good soda too? I drink it very rarely. It's a very unique flavor. We need slabs. What else did we need for the turntable? Shaft. So shaft and slab, turntable, sticky piston, windmill bearing. Got it. Three logs. Three. For the radial chassis. Boop, boop. Got it. White sails. We're going to need the rock wool. So let's see. Acht, sechzehn. Acht, sechzehn. Vierundzwanzig. Zweiunddreißig. Vierundsechzig. Hundertachtundzwanzig. So we need 128 of these sails for the windmill design that I want to make. 128. Oh, I was about to say, please don't tell me it has to be treated sticks. It's just sticks. Sticks and andesite alloy. So, via acht, sechzehn. I need 16 andesite alloys. And the andesite alloy we're going to have to make in the tinkers, or not tinkers, in the induction smelter. Do I still have andesite in here? Yes, 45 andesite. We also need zinc. We have zinc nuggets, two of them. Is that all of our zinc? We need to cast out some zinc. This guy's going 16. We'll switch this as well, because 16 is divisible by 8. And let's go ahead and cast out our uh, zinc. Using the zinc will save us uh, from using... Whatchamacallit? Iron. I'd rather save my iron for everything else and use zinc specifically for create because I don't think there's anything else we can use zinc for other than create. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Two blocks. We'll grab our zinc. We'll change this. And we'll do seven to make a stack of zinc nuggets. Awesome. So let's head back. Uh, if we're lucky, it'll be done with the gravel. Nope, not yet. Ten. Thirteen. I think this snow, we need a total of what? Via, acht, 16. We need 16 rock wool as well, which we have. So yeah, we can pull it out. Let's pull it out now. All right, so 64, 45. We'll start making some more andesite alloy and we will just toss in these 13 over here. Let's drop off the zinc. We can drop off the gravel for right now. That's just taking up inventory space. This guy, this guy. Here you go. Oh, and flint can go into the pulverizer. Nice. Nice, nice. 26. Let's go ahead and grab some of our coal and uh, jumpstart this guy too. Fill up the energy cell a little bit more. Four, via acht, sixteen. So we're at eight. We're halfway there. Ah, oh, that's good. I love my Renfest mug. Ten, twenty-four rock wool believe, yeah, to turn them in. We're going to need 16 rock wool to turn them into white sails. 
Uh, what we could do is we could work with our colors, of course. Purple and cyan. Cyan dye. Purple dye. You guys know me. These are my two colors. Maybe, I don't know. Part of me thinks maybe lime green and purple. But uh, it's a lot easier to find uh, cyan and purple comp combined stuff. I almost said out in the wild, but I mean, like hunting at Goodwill and stuff, it's easier to find these two colors than mint and purple. We're doing that. We need seven. Okay, we have what we need. Sixteen, but we didn't grab any sticks, did we? All my sticks, treated sticks, regular sticks, and sticks. And let's go ahead, 16, 64, there we go. All right, 16, there we go, and there we go, 64, and 16, boom. That's all of the ones we need. So this is, is this everything we need? The windmill bearing. We need the super glue, which I believe is part of the quest reward. Perfect. Let's go ahead and grab everything. Yeah, we got our goggles and stuff. Can we put the goggles in our offhand or uh, as a comedic, uh, cosmetic? Paper, heart of the sea. Nice. Another pasta. Framed wrench, engineer's goggles, slot goggles. Yep, we can. So we have our goggles on, perfect. Drop off the pipes stuff. We got another bucket. Oh wait, I'm putting it into my gold chest, whoops. No, I was thinking gold backpack, never mind, I'm putting it in the right place, duh. We got more scaffolding we can burn. Even more pasta with mutton chop. Alright, the bucket. The bucket can go here. Alright, stick. The wood. The casings. The scaffolding can be burned. Let's see. Pasta. Everything else is required, right? We got copper casings. More of the rock wool. We don't need it. We need the super glue. We need the windmill bearing. Actually, we do need eight of the rock wool for the design that I want to make. That's going to be all that we need. It is nighttime, so let's go ahead and sleep. And let's see if we can put this guy together real quick. Should I go ahead and immediately turn it into a tower. Wow, I do have enough brass casings to make towers out of brass. That'd be bougie. Infuse the rice with that unique flavor of classic scaffolding. Yeah, yeah. Might as well, right? I could make extremely bougie windmills. Let's do it. I'll go get more brass if we have to. We have more than enough brass. It's kind of ridiculous. Should I put it? I'll put it on the same side as I had it during pre-alpha. So let's see. One. I want two in the middle at least. No, it needs to be an odd number in the middle. So I need to have three in the middle. Yeah, it needs to be an odd number, so it has to be three. Like this. One, two, no. Get rid of these a little bit. I don't want to vein mine and have my inventory just full of this stuff. Alright, three. Yeah, and the windmill will be in the middle. Okay, so we'll go 
one, two, three, four. And we'll cross it over. Three, four. There we go. And then, huh, should we go up through the middle or should we? Yeah. We'll do this. We'll go up another four. One, two, three, four. And we'll go like this. Like so. Okay. So let's go ahead and put one here. We'll put the windmill bearing down. Yep. The first one will be sticky. And let's go. Whoops. That's eight. And I just realized I don't have uh, slime boots. So I'm going to take damage. Yep. And how high do I need to go to be able to reach? One more. Nope. Can these guys be wrenched? Oh, and I left my wrench. Let's see if the crescent hammer works. It does. Nice. Okay. So that's the top row. We're going to go four. Don't be like that. Down. Whoops. You better let me catch it. Got it. One, two, three, four. Three, four, four. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Need to go up by five. One, two, three, four, five. No, come on, man. One. Two, three. Down. Down, 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 down. Got it. And brass casing is a nice block for building. I agree. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, come on, man. One, two, three, four. Dude, why? Can I? No, it's not going to work. Please let me catch this. Uh, I'll go get it before it despawns, because I don't want to craft another eight. Because I need exactly these two stacks. <laughs> Whoops. Come on, dude. What's up with that? We'll go up this way. Did I get it? One, two, three, four. And here. We'll go up over here. There we go. Now it's built. And one, two, three, four, five. There. There down. No, why? If 
Okay, there we go. That's the top row. Boop, boop, boop. Down. There we go. And that's that's the row, yeah. Down, down, down. There we go. Whoop. And last row. Perfect. Whoops. There we go, a strong breeze. We gotta get rid of some of this grass. Let's go ahead now that we did it. We can vein mine some out of the way. There we go, clear the area a bit. Looking good. Windmills. And I do like the collect connected textures. It does look really nice. So let's see, what can we throw into the trash can? We really don't need the flowers, the seeds, the bushes, strawberry bushes. All right, so we got a strong breeze. Let's grab, how much shaft have we made? 31 or 32, I mean. Like eight, we'll be a little stingy. We have andesite casings to make it look a little bit different. All right, let's see. Straight up through the middle, right? We'll use the, the andesite casings to, to pillar up for right now. All right, break this. There you are. We'll cover it. Yep. Coming down. Coming down. And then the one in the middle, we'll go ahead and cover this guy and then fill in the holes. There we go. Covered up. Pop is covered. That looks fine. How would it look if I put these in the corner? What is up with it double clicking today? No, that, look, that looks bad. We'll get rid of that. Sunset. Let's see. So we have all of the stress units going right now. That's all that we need. We're also going to eventually need the precision, precision mechanisms, which is going to fall under sequenced assembly. So we need three deployers to get this guy to work. So deployer. We're going to need deployers. We're going to need electron tubes, which is polished rose, rose quartz. Go ahead and sleep before we get jumped. Flies getting stuck over there. All right, let's see. We need more nether quartz, definitely. Deployers require brass. Brass we can make in the induction smelter. It is copper and zinc. Okay, so we can grab some of our copper and some of our zinc. We have six zinc here. Let's grab six copper. And we do have more zinc. 
these guys apart. I don't think I want to make 33. Let's make a good 10. Toss these into the induction smelter while we work. Induction smelter. Do 10. And 10. There we go. Even more seeds. And then we can dye the the thing. We can dye the sails in a little bit. I can always do that off camera too. Basin. A bowl. Shaft and a side casing. The mixer, we can use the hand crank on the mixer to make it work. So we don't need to hook it up to stress units. We do need brass. We need polished rose quartz, so nether quartz. We can get that from the shore. We need belt, which is going to be our dried kelp. Where is our kelp? There it is. So we'll grab... Just toss in the 59 kelp. I can't think of anything else we need kelp for. We can eat one of the dried kelp as well. I think we need six pieces to make a belt. But we're going to be definitely, we need three of these. And three, no, we don't need the, de the, the depots because we're going to put it on the belt. Injector. Weighted ejectors are always fun. Cast out one gold plate. We'll make that while these guys are cooking. One gold plate. Coming up. Gold. We'll make five. Change this to plates. Is that, I hope that's blood. Probably. Alright, gold. Gold plate. We're gonna need a basin. Or no, we need a depot. What was the depot? This? Look at that big brain. Cogwheel and plate? No. That's the other way around. So we have the weighted injector, okay. I was thinking maybe we shouldn't make that one. Let's see if we can make the shoot. What? What happened? I hope I didn't mess something up. I hope my pack's not going to start crashing now. Some, some block that didn't work properly. I don't think I was doing anything illegal. I was using the Tinker Smeltery to make uh, a plate, and I was making brass in the induction smelter. It might have something to do with the windmill. I always have an issue with setting up create windmills, and uh, something with my RAM, like it filling my RAM up with with tick lag until I shut off my mod pack for a couple of hours and then restart it. After that, the windmill is fine. But it's always when I first put down a windmill that I get issues with the pack. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to keep the series going and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft. If you want to see the full uninterrupted footage, you can go to my channel on Twitch at twitch.tv slash ddanicus. The VODs will be saved there.